auch noch Tee. Ah, ich glaube, ich nehme auch Schwarz. Gibt's nicht mehr. Schokolade. Boah, ich kann nicht warten. <lacht> Food reminds me of one person, Nana Florence. <laughs> If you know, you know. She makes that meal in nearly every video she uploaded, and it's for me such a YouTuber meal, but it's really good. I really like it, and it's so quick and easy. And yeah, I have been thinking a lot about like what I want to do after my bachelor's. Maybe you also have the same problem. Oh, well, it's not a problem. I'm not really sure if I should do an internship again because I have like some brands that I would really like to have an in do an internship at, but or I also really would like to do an Adobe Creative Cloud course because I really think that these skills would be morning <clears throat> i came out of bed so i'm not <laughs> put together mm. i wanted to go to the cafe again but since i only have time till 11 since at 11 i have a lecture i decided to stay here and really try to sit at my desk and i'm sitting here so that's good and it's so foggy outside it's crazy But I just wanted to tell you that um, helping, like scheduling my day for the next day really helps me. And for that, I use the Google Calendar for the last two months, I think. And yeah, it's really fun to do. Sometimes also a procrastinational task. But um, yeah, it makes me realize how much time I spend on which Thing. and maybe if you're not already using google that could be something for you so i'm not gonna expose my whole week but basically i could just put in things here and now i'm gonna read something for uni then i have the lecture and i actually could um put in a link of my schedule into google and then it just put everything into the Google Calendar, which was really convenient. And then I will work a bit, then I have something else at uni. And yeah, I think it's just really practical. always use the same same things to get ready oh i also have a mirror there so that's convenient um but i thought i wanted to sh talk about something i mentioned um i wanted to talk about something i thought about I think already for a few times that I really like sustainability and like talking about sustainable things um, in terms of fashion 
but then I thought if I am really trying to be sustainable also in other areas of my life because I feel like because I'm traveling so often um, also I'm always using blush I think if I would have to choose one thing it would be blush it I don't know I feel like I always look more put together my mom sometimes says I do too much blush but on the, the other hand I think my make makeup I don't do much makeup just fades away like the second I go outside so why not doing a bit more um, yeah I wanted to say that since I'm traveling so much I feel like I'm so unsustainable when it comes to friendships because I'm just at one place for like a few months and then I change the location and then I have to like catch up with them online and it's so unsustainable when I think of my friendships and I thought maybe that's really healthy to travel so much but then I really also I really just love traveling I just wanted to put that thought out there that sustainability is so good in so many areas not just fashion but yeah oh my god I'm so not um, able to do things at the same time I think I have to start my lecture now also I bought two products in Japan I even bought um, toothpaste because I feel like if you buy something really small in a different country I just think of Japan more often and I don't know if this setting spray really does something but it smells good and it reminds me just of Japanese skincare and yeah it's I just have a five minute makeup routine and no one actually sees it except me but that's that's enough for it. Last week we were dealing with data-driven marketing and a lot of what we were looking at was looking backward, taking existing content and analyzing. take a clip that is really realistic because it's so cold in my room I don't know why but the um, heating is not working at this moment and I would say most of oh, I would say most of the time I'm just lying in bed also because it's yeah just in general cold season and yeah I was just wondering um i watched emma louise's you vlog i don't know if you know her but um i know her since like really the early stage of youtube i don't know since when i'm watching youtube maybe since i'm 16 or 15 and she's just so real i think it's so funny because she reminds me a bit of emma chamberlain and they have the same name but yeah, never mind. I was wondering if I should also do kind of like a vlogmas or something. I was already thinking this before Emma um, published her video today, but I know I'm really not able to upload every day. I still think that's crazy. I don't know how how people could do that. But maybe like oh god, my my arm is shaking. Maybe like week two videos per week but then again I'm thinking like 
do I share valuable stuff? I don't want you to be filled up with things that are so just taking up your time and I don't want you to be unproductive because of me. I don't know, but then again, I just also feel like Vlogmas is kind of a advent calendar in a video format and I used to love Vlogmas or people who did that even though it's a bit unhealthy for the people who do it um, but maybe twice a week maybe I could do that I think I'm going to start to edit right now this video also oh yeah before I close up this video I wanted to say that Today I felt really exhausted and yesterday I also went home and didn't study somewhere else so don't think I'm just <laughs> on point with being productive and yeah but I went with Inga to the step and shape class again and it was really nice and the teacher recognized me which I hope is a good thing <laughs> Um, yeah, but I hope you're doing good. I hope you find things that make the dark month a bit brighter. Uh, maybe you also bake something with friends or trying to take some walks. And yeah, let's see if we if I can manage two weeks per video. Or tell me if you if you would be interested in that. Yeah, please let me know. Also, if you want to like support video my videos then um give it a comment it's good for the algorithm apparently and yeah maybe i see you a bit more often in christmas and if i don't do it then i think no one cares that much so yeah never mind <laughs> bye thank you for watching